Good evening. Members of the school board, Superintendent LeBanc, Mr. Par Mr. Pennock, parents, family, friends, and members of the Hardwick community. My name is Will Adams, and on behalf of the sixth grade team, I'd like to welcome you to Hardwick Elementary School and the 2019 sixth grade celebration of learning and step up ceremony. This evening, we're gathered to celebrate your children's successes in elementary school and to recognize their transition to middle school. Before our program begins, please take a moment to check your cell phones to be sure that they are off or turned to silent. There will be plenty of opportunities to take pictures this evening and we encourage you to do so. Most of all, we hope you will share in our feelings of pride for the work done by this class. Without further delay, please join me in welcoming the Hardwick Elementary sixth grade class of 2019. Good evening, my name is Natalie Mitchard, and on behalf of the sixth grade class, I'd like to welcome you to our celebration of learning and step up celebration. Tonight we are gathered together to celebrate our learning in elementary school and recognize our transition from elementary to middle school. At this time, I would like to introduce our principal, Mr. Pennick, to offer a few thoughts for the occasion. I'm glad that noise stopped, and I'll make sure I don't yell into the microphone, but welcome everyone tonight. Um, it's with sadness that I see these guys go. I just asked them a little while ago if we could have one more year here, but they said that they're ready to move on up to Hazen. Um, just this morning, we had a community gathering where the sixth grade class kind of had their reading buddies in kindergarten, and they left them with a card and some, some thoughts on, on how they should uh, behave and spend the next six years at HES. And I'll tell you, it was amazing. You look at the kindergartners and the, and the sixth graders all up here together and the changes that took place over those six years. I mean, for all of you parents and families and you remember these kids, it wasn't that long ago, right? It just seemed like yesterday probably that they were the kindergartners up here. And you look at now, they're, they went from being just out of babyhood and now they're heading into young adulthood really and adolescence. So, so big changes occurred, but they're a great group. I got to spend some good quality time with them uh, this spring at our trip to Nature's Classroom. So it was a, a good time to get to know everyone. We had a lot of exciting events, those that were there. Who remembers the fire drill as everyone was getting ready for bed? Remember that one? That was an that was exciting moment, an unexpected fire drill, and they all had to exit out in their pajamas with flashlights. Uh, turned out okay. Um, but it's a good class, and on the way home from that trip, we had a, a bus driver. We, we had the coach bus, and he, he took us there and back, and and we stopped at a rest stop and, and he said to me, he said, you know what, this is one of the best and most polite groups of kids that I've ever taken on a class trip. So I asked him, are, are we on the same bus? But I, he said, yeah, absolutely. He's taken a lot of class trips and these kids are just great. And they really are. Sometimes I think as teachers and as family, you know, we always you know, say stop running and walking feet and don't do this. And, but we, we kind of fail sometimes to see that these really are great kids and I'm, I'm proud of them. And I hope they come back and see us at Hardwick Elementary and volunteer down here. And I hope to get up there and see them. They'll be a successful group. So good luck, everyone. So that's it for me, and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Pennick. And is that working? <laughs> Sorry, there you go. Thank you, Mr. Pennick. And once again, Thank you for being with us tonight to celebrate our transition from elementary school to middle school. At this time, I would like to invite some of my classmates to join me in sharing some reflections about our transitions to middle school. Marissa Langmaid, Greg Patton, 
Zoe Benor, Ben Witham, Derek Reno, Megan Kane, Lana Dimmick, and Max Fortman, and Aiden Laundry. Many of us have been here at Hardwick Elementary School since kindergarten, and leaving here can cause a lot of different emotions. Before we invite you to, re to view the results of our independent study projects displayed behind you, we would like to share some of our thoughts on behalf of our whole class. Entering elementary school was the bi first big ch change in our lives. We moved from being at home, daycare, or preschool to being full-time students. We learned a lot while at HES and leaving elementary school is coming of age. We're leaving childhood behind and entering adolescence. This transition sparks a lot of different feelings. For some of us, is leaving ATS sad. Even though we moved to Hazen Middle School with our classmates, even though we moved to Hazen Middle School with our classmates, even though we moved, even though we moved to Hazen Middle School with our classmates, we leave behind our younger friends. We we leave behind our younger friends. And our teachers who all helped us to get here to this day. Good job. The transition from elementary school to middle school makes some of us anxious because we're starting a new chapter in our lives, meeting new people, and facing new and unknown challenges. Some of us may also feel nervous because there are going to be older students at Hazen, new teachers, and more challenging work. This transition can also feel a little scary for some of us. As we enter our adolescence, we're going to need to think more seriously and take responsibility of our learning and future and people around us. Our teachers at HES prepared us for these responsibilities and we are looking forward to continued guidance and support from our teachers at Hazen. In some ways it feels like this transition is happening very suddenly. Change can feel overwhelming. When we feel overwhelmed, it feels kind of like trying to carry more books in your arms than you can possibly hold. The best way for us to get over feeling overwhelmed is to let go of these books and some of our worries and trust that our families, our fam friends, families, and teachers will support us. We've talked about some feelings of uncertainty, but even with those feelings, today is a day for celebration. Today is a celebration of accomplishments, new beginnings, and opportunities. Together we've learned a lot while we've been at HES and feel proud of the work we've done and the people we are becoming today. When we go to school at Hazen next fall, we will become a part of an even larger school community where we can reconnect with some of our older friends, make new friends, take on new challenges, and explore our interests in, as we begin to think about the future. Standing here tonight thinking about our time at HES and looking to our future, we have a lot to be thankful for. First, we would like to thank all, all of our parents. Thank you for driving us to school, coming to our games, concerts, and plays, and supporting us along the way. Your love, support, and encouragement has made us who we are today. We would also like to thank our teachers at HES. You haven't just taught us about reading, math, and writing. You have been trusted adults we could turn to when needed it. You've made us feel like HES is a second home for us. You've encouraged us, pushed us, and supported us, and helped us along the way. We're thankful for everything you do. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. Tonight, we are here to recognize our transition from elementary school to middle school. 
and to celebrate our learning during our sixth grade year. Our last major project in elementary school was an independent study research project on a topic of our own choice. With guidance from Mr. Adams and Mr. Broderick, we chose the topic of our research, defined our learning objectives, and defined how we would demonstrate our learning. The results of our work are displayed behind you, are displayed behind you along with other pieces of our work we've done this year. As we sit here and think about the fun we have had and the memories we made, memories we have created here at EGS, we can only hope that our time at Hazen will be as fun as our times here. At this time, I'd like to turn, o turn things over to Mr. Adams to explain how we will proceed from here. Thank you, Natalie. All throughout the gym, you'll see samples of the work this class has done this year. As Natalie said, their final major project of the year was an independent research project on a topic of their own choosing. In a few minutes, I'll invite the audience to join the students at their displays so you have the opportunity to see the work that they've done. We'll take about 10 or 15 minutes to do so, and when we flash the gym lights, that'll be the signal for you to return to your seats for the remainder of the program. At this time, could members of the sixth grade class please stand? Okay, at this time I would invite you all to get up and go not only to your child's uh, display, but all of the displays around you, and in about 10 or 15 minutes we'll invite you back to your seats. Thanks everybody for getting back to your seats. Um, before I go any further, I would like to say that um, this is a new format for us and our own Mr. Adams is really the architect of this, so I think it'd be nice to give him a round of applause. It was a lot of work. The sixth graders are standing out on the wings because they're gonna watch this, our end of the year video with you. Um, what you also need to mention was edited and put together by our very own Laura Lana Dimmick. Everybody give it on it.
At this time, I'd like to invite our principal, Mr. Pat Pennick, uh, the principal of the Hazen Union Middle School, Mr. David Perigo, Kelly Robinson, and Greg Hennemuth of the seventh grade team at Hazen Union Middle School, and members of the Friends of HES to join us as we present the sixth graders with their certificates of achievement.
That concludes our ceremony. Thank you for being with us this evening.